what's up everybody welcome back to the channel happy thanksgiving to all my fellow americans out there and any other nation in the world that celebrates this holiday it is about giving thanks for everything so do that all right let's get on with the show shall we all right first thing is first bitcoin has made fresh yearly highs is trading at fresh yearly highs for 2023 and has hit over bought on the weekly time frame over bought now, in every single case, every single scenario, this has happened 100% of the time in Bitcoin's past. And I want to bring that to your attention. All right. So if you buy up here, you're buying at $37,000 pre-having. That means before the having. We know the having is coming around April, according to the having tracker. So let's go back in the past and see what happened. Now, in this circumstance, I did not use this low right here because this candle was an outlier event being that it was the pandemic. So instead, what I have done is I have chosen to use these lows right here because those lows happened before the pandemic. And you can see that when Bitcoin hit fresh yearly highs in 2019 that was the year before the halving you had hit over bought on the rsi and you made a 53 percent pullback right there 53.45 percent drawdown after hitting over bought after making fresh yearly highs let's go on shall we to the next market cycle all right, so here we go. 2015 was a rough year for Bitcoin as it could not trade above the yearly opening range until October when it breached it, got above it, and finally stayed bullish after that fact. But it did indeed still do the same thing. We hit overbought on the RSI. We did make a fresh yearly high, and we did have a drawdown of 40%. 40%. All right, moving on to the next boom bust cycle. All right, or, you know, the previous boom bust cycles, year before the halving, 2012. Uh, th in this instance, actually, because this is when Bitcoin first started trading, there is no prior year, uh, January. There's no prior January before the halving. So I have to use this, which is, it just happens to be the same year. However, it is still relevant. Jan 1, Bitcoin trades sideways and then gets a nice bullish pop, setting in a fresh yearly high before the halving, then having a 49% drawdown. So are you starting to sense a theme here? We are doing it again. Now, one thing is to be clear here, Bitcoin is pretty damn good about doing the same things over and over again, or I should say it has been in the past. Now, past performance is not indicative of future results. We know that. And Bitcoin does, hasn't done the same thing in every cycle because this last boom bust or market cycle or whatever you want to call this phase post having all-time high we did breach the previous all-time highs and that had never happened before in bitcoin's history all right so that is a one-off there uh however we are doing it again so what i've done here is i have pulled up the yearly opening range for january 1 2024 obviously i have no idea where price is going to be because I cannot see into the future. But if I simply apply the same thing that has happened in every single market cycle, every four year cycle, the year prior to the halving, you have hit, made fresh yearly highs, hit overbought on the weekly, and had at least a 40% correction. So if I draw that in for you here, using where Bitcoin is currently trading, and I just pull this down, you can see that just by getting to Q2's low, which was not liquidated, may I remind you, we did not liquidate Q2's low when it was set in. This wick did not liquidate this low. Now, it may have on other exchanges. I don't know. I'm talking about this, you know, BLX, 
and also on Coinbase's exchange, it's it's the same. Q2's low is still intact. It has not been liquidated. So if Bitcoin were to liquidate Q2's low, that would only be a 30% pullback and in line with what has happened every time. It's got a 100% hit rate. Now, there's a lot of things going on out there. There are three major bullish drivers for Bitcoin. One of them is simply this, the having. right? We know based on past price that Bitcoin has made fresh all-time highs after every single halving. It has happened every time. This time could be different. We don't know, but in the past, it happened 100% of the time. That is a very big bullish driver right there by itself. Second bullish driver for Bitcoin, potentially. The markets are now pricing in a potential rate cut in May. It was June, so the market has bumped that up one month, which is fantastic because we know that Bitcoin loves a lowering rates environment. It doesn't like a high rate environment as we've seen in 2022, but it does love a lower rate environment as it does seem to bring in the buyers. And obviously the third biggest bullish driver for 2024, in my opinion, could be the approval of a Bitcoin ETF. Now, I don't know if we are going to get an approval on a Bitcoin ETF. It was supposed to have already happened. It has not yet. So I would probably assume that it won't happen until 2024, if it even does. But if it does, that would be a huge bullish driver. This is important. What is a bearish driver? Because when we put our money to work for us, A, we want to get the best available price possible. And B, we have to be aware of all the risks. There is a big risk out there right now in the form of Binance. Binance is known to have been laundering money for a couple of different illegal criminal organizations, I guess you could call them. Uh, they were literally laundering money. Uh, B, CZ is getting fined in the tune of $4 billion. So that's going to be a huge test to Binance's liquidity. Now, I know what they've posted in the past is that they do have plenty of money and they do have one-to-one -one for customers' funds. However, that's what every single crypto exchange has said in the past before they failed. Now, I'm not saying that Binance is going to fail. In fact, I hope they do not because Binance is the biggest holder of Bitcoin uh, outside of Tether. So we kind of really don't want uh, Binance to go down. So just keep that in mind. Um, this will be a huge test for them. And if they can't get their dots in a row, there is a slight chance that they don't have enough liquidity and they could go under. And if they do, that would cause a potential disaster scenario for Bitcoin coming into this next halving. So just a quick video to keep you guys up to date as I normally do when major market events are occurring. This is a major market event. You are doing the exact same thing that Bitcoin has done every single time in the past. I have already shown you that. So I want you guys to be very, very careful and be smart with your money. We buy usually when Bitcoin is oversold, not overbought, right? We did this year. And depending on where price is next year and how price acts around the yearly opening range coming into the halving will dictate to us where we are going to put on bullish positions again getting ready for another bullish breakout for the having. All right, so I hope this video helps. If it did, make sure you guys subscribe. Once again, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Thank you so much for your time. If you stuck around until the end, thank you so much. If you liked the video, smash the like button for me. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Make sure you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving holiday. Make sure you guys trade safe, smart, and as always, happy trading everybody.